hi friends good afternoon thank you so much for all your support and comments and encouragement and everything because i start this channel one year before today is my first anniversary of my channel i got around 250 plus followers and each and every day i got many comments and suggestions even they transferred many kind of information to me thank you so much for all my supporters and followers and commenters mentors everybody let's go through the concept talk shift empty message structure block container today we will discuss about shift empty message structure block container details okay what are what are the things we will discuss in this video what are the blocks should be available in shift message each and block how it should be work uh, these are all the information we can able to see in this video first totally the five blocks should be available in shift message basic header block application header block user header block test block and trailer block basic header block is a mandatory block remaining four blocks all are optional blocks next we will look at this basic header block how the basic header block structure should be look what are the details should be available in basic header block each and every shift block start with right curly basic and end with left curly basic please remember that each of the shift messages start with left curly basic and end with right curly basic just indicator it should be start with right curly basic and a block identifier what is the block identifier because this is the first block so the reason i mentioned the block identifier is a one after it's come to the separator application id is a two kind of id is there one is a pin another one is a gpa okay whenever it's come to the pin application we mentioned that yeah whenever it's come to the general purpose application gpa it means the g service id should be the two thing is there 01 or 21 Zero 01 means it's a it's a pin or gpa it should be identified the whether service should be pin id service or gpa id service 21 we can able to understand whether the acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement response next big code in this big code field you can able to see that sending and receiver big codes based on the messages okay in case that input message means we can able to see the sending uh big code in, in case that output message means we can able to see the receiver big code section number should be automatically generated from the system okay four digit number it should be automatically generated based on the system sequence number also same like that uh it's, it should be all sequence it should be generated automatically and end section is come to that end of block identifier it's come to that right curly basic same thing i will mention from here okay it start with left curly basic and it's first block is come to the one after it's come to the separator this is for identity of the block okay these three is a not a block content only it's come to the service it is a first block content after it's come to the second block content, third block content, fourth block content, like that next already I said that yes means it's a pin application generated it's come to the code application id is a yeah in case the gpa means general purpose, general purpose application means come to the g after you can able to understand identify the service id okay which service it should become zero one means pin and gpa 21 means acknowledge acknowledgement app or negative acknowledgement another one you can able to big you can able to see the big code okay in case that message is inward message you can able to see that sending big code in in case that message is a output message you can able to see that uh sender logical terminal address that is called a big code okay after it's come to the section number it, it should be generated automatically from system after you can able to see the six digit sequence number it's it, it is also automatically should be generated after it's come to the end of block and identify this right curly basic next block it's come to that application header block in this application header block should be split in two part one is a input message for another one is the output message for both should be some difference is there okay how application block should be look in input part and how the application block should be in output part some difference is there okay first we will look on this input part already i said that each and every block should be stored with right curly be right curly basic and end with a left curly basic same like that see start with the curly basic and end with the curly basic uh this is for second block so that reason you can able to see that block identity is a two separator is there that is the separator 
after you can able to identify whether it's an input message or output message that should be mentioned from here okay in case that input message means we mention at i in case that output message means we mention as a o next simple message type also you can able to see that application handle block itself okay first basic handle block you can able to see that all the basic kind of information application handle block only you can able to see that whether what kind of message should be transferred from current payment file whether it's empty 103 or 202 or call uh, empty G202 or cover payment, these kind of message type, you can able to see that application header block. After if you can able to see that same like the destination address big, same like the receiver, uh, this is the input, input means it's you, this is the receiver big, output means it's the center big, okay. This is the input header block, so it's it's the receiver block, receiver big. After how it should be periodic, whether it's an urgent message or normal message or system message, okay. Or uh, how we push the particular message. In case the object payment means we mention as U. In case the normal payments means we mention as the norm. In case the system payments means we mention that yes. After it comes the delivery monitoring. Three kind of delivery monitoring is there. One is a non. What what, what kind of deli, three kind of delivery monitoring is there? Non delivery warning, delivery warning, and non delivery warning with notification. Whenever you initiate the message from urgent on the time, you can able to use that non delivery warning as well as a non delivery warning with notification in case the message is a normal message you can able to use the delivery warning please remember that period of time whatever the time should be processed from the whether urgent message and a normal message whenever we initiate the urgent message that message should be processed to within the 15 minutes please remember that whenever the message should be normal on the time that message should be processed within a 100 minutes this is for time period for normal and urgent message how it should be processed, what is the time we need to take, push the message. That time we maintain in this application header block. Denied period and end of the block identifier, it should be end. Same thing I will mention from here. See the block, start curly basic to and separator. After it's come to the, we can able to identify whether it's an input message or output message, same like that. After what kind of message should be transferred, that we mentioned in MT103 message type and MT202 or MT101 based on this. This is an input message, so we consider the receiver big. This is a big, and after it's come to that, what kind of period we given? Urgent or normal or um, system message that should be delivered. After it's come to that, any delay is happened. How the delivery should be monitoring? Okay, non. In case the any delay is happened, what kind of uh, delivery message you get? Non-delivery warning or delivery warning or non-delivery warning with notification. These are all the information should be available. Urgent message means you can able to choose one and three. Delivery warning, delivery warning as well as the non-delivery warning with notification. Normal message means you can able to see that uh, same like the delivery warning only. After it's come to that, I will tell the time period. Okay, non-delivery notification time period. In case the urgent message means we process the within a 15 minutes. In case the non uh, no normal message means you can able to process within a 100 minutes. After it's come to that end bracket, it's come to that end. This is the simple example. Already I said that now it starts with curly basic two and separator. After we able to identify the message type. After it's come to that input, whether it's a what kind of message should be processed. That's the input message. This is the one not three message. So show the reason I mentioned that one zero three. After it's come to that destination address big and again it's come to the periodicity and uh, delivery warning, uh, date and time and uh, delivery period. These all the information should be available. Next we can able to see that same like that output block. Okay. Uh, Please remember that application header block input message and output message should be differ. Some difference is there. This is not a formal normal maintenance. Okay. Some difference is there. I will tell the difference. Okay. See that output message. Same like that. It start with the curly basic and end with the curly basic. Right. After it's come to the block two, it should be identified and it's come to the separator next. After it's come to the whether it's a message is input or output, we mentioned as the O as output message. After it's what kind of message should be transfer? MT103 message, input message, output message means we can able to see that sender big. Okay, after is the message input reference, MIR message input reference. How it should be generated, I will tell in this below the screen. After output date, output time, and end of the block identifier. In this block, you can able to remember that input time, output time, output date, MIR message reference number, these are all the fields should be unique compared with application header input block. Just look on this. It starts with curly basic. After it's come to that end and the separator. This a no after you can able to identify whether the message is input or output. That mentioned that oh, it's for output message. Next, what kind of message should be transferred? Whether it's the MT103 
or 202 or 202 cover payment or MT101 that should be mentioned from here. After it's come to the input time. Input time you need to mention for the hour and month. Okay, how hour and minutes, how it should be mentioned? MM HH. Don't forget the format, always it's come to MM HH. MIR reference number, message input reference number, how it should be generated. I will tell that. First, when the date the transaction should be initiated, that is the date. Okay. I initiate the transfer from 2205 um 0515. So that reason I mentioned the date. After it's an LTP address, already said that center big. Okay, this is the center big SB India Dara Pro 546. After it's come to the section number, again it's come to the sequence number. After you need to mention for the output date, when the output need to be sent, same like the date format YY MM DD and the output time also HH MM, same like that. After it's come to the end of the block identifier, it's come to the close curly basic. See that here I will provide this example starting with curly basic and two and separate an output message you can able to see that output message 103 what kind of message should be processed again it's come to that MAR reference number after it's come to that uh, output date output time and end curly basic this is for the application header block output next you can able to see that user header block please remember that user header block is a third block i will explain the concept of user header block same like that all these zip message should be stored with Curly basic and end with also curly basic. Okay. After this is called the this block and it is the third block. So the reason I mentioned the three and the separator also it's come. After it's come to the service identified, whether it's a 103 and EBI I mentioned like that. Based on the service identified via only, multiple service should be called in same interface. Suppose you have one interface is there, okay. Any kind of uh, interface is there, okay. You need to call multiple service in same interface on the time you need to use for service identified, okay. Based on the service that in fully based on the service identified only, the multiple service will call the same interface. After it's come to the bank identifier, after it comes to the bank period, after it's come to the message usage reference number, end of the block identifier. These are the information should be available. Already said that these are the all are co common concept. After it's come to the service identifier 103.eba. In case you need to support multiple you need to support multiple you can able to access or you can able to do multiple changes in the same interface on the time you need to identify the service identifier because which service you need to call that you need to main, mention like that after it's come to the character banking priority already it's charter banking priority and the one not tag one not three is a mandatory tag uh, that indicate for this message user interface okay this is for 16 digit reference number same like that it should be generated from this reference number it should be automatically generated uh, I will tell that what is the relationship with this number now. Okay, mostly that 102 reference number should be come to the center reference number 20 field. The transaction number is number 20 field because that reference number should be maintained from all the blocks. It's a common reference number. Okay, based on the reference number only, you can able to identify the transaction. Okay, what kind of transaction should be generated. Often the user header block only, you can able to see that and you need end to end transaction reference number. Already did that we, whenever the transaction initiated, you can able to capture or whether the transaction chatter based on the unique end-to-end -end transaction reference number. The transaction unique end-to-end -end transaction reference number also available in user header block tag 121. Please watch it. Okay. Uh, please remember that message user interface. Uh, the three digit act response number. Already I said that the act should be available in basic header block. This is called the act reference number. Whether it should be acknowledged or non acknowledged, that kind of information you can able to see that. Okay, I mean, okay, that's next we can able to see the text block. Everybody is familiar in the text block because each and every video I will sell, tell the same concept only. Text block is actually the data transfer block. What are the feed we need to mandatory or optional need to make the transaction? Okay. Already said that 20 is a transaction reference number, 21 is a related reference number, 13C is a time indication, 32 is a validate currency code and amount, 52 is a ordinary institution, and 53 is a sender correspondent, receiver correspondent, 56 is a intermediate, 57 is a account with institution, 58 is a beneficiary institution, 72 is a sender to receiver information. These are all the information available in text block. Often one block is there, that is called the tra trailer block. This is for end of the block, okay. In this block, it's very useful for checksum. Okay, what are how many measures should be processed? Okay, for 
check some forget for all message type what are the message how many message types should be processed you can able to set the chi and that number should be generated test in case if you send any test and training purpose message that need to be mentioned tng in case the user send the same message in same message in twice or previously they send this message again they send the same message means on the time you can able to see the possible duplicate emission code pde with the already said that mrf not number related concept dlm delayed message also in case the any delayed message already delayed message mean already said that urgent message we need to transfer within a 15 minutes and a normal message we can able to transfer the 100 minutes and you can able to get the delayed dlm message also operates from the message reference number uh, that is for the this is for a mrf message they used to for this pin copy okay whenever you initiate the transaction you need to send the uh, copy to the direct pin network also on the time the mrf message should be generated 096 uh, in case the pdm possible to possible duplicate message uh, after it's come to that system originate message uh, same like that the format looks same like that thanks for watching this video kindly share some interesting financial topic we will discuss later